Using local produce is all the rage. But sadly, all over London, historic orchards lie forgotten under a nest of brambles and shrubbery. 60% of our orchards have disappeared since the 1950s. But the London Orchard Project are rediscovering some and restoring them. We've had a look at um, some photographs with an orchard expert, so photographs from the sky of trees, and the expert can have a good guess at what might be an orchard and what might be fruit trees. So then we follow, uh, follow the map and go and have a look. So a big part of the work that we do is bringing back some of the orchard skills to people who live around those orchards. So whenever we restore an orchard, um, we work with a community group who are associated with the, the space and bringing orchard experts from all around um, the country to retrain people in the skills of how to manage orchards. So that we hope that over the next few years, those orchards will be looked after and cared for and will be always productive. That work's being funded at the moment by the Heritage Lottery Fund. One such orchard here at the Bethlehem Psychiatric Hospital, had been untouched and unloved for many years. Today, though, it's nearly back to its former glory, and they're going to press their first apple juice. We've got two um, quite substantial orchards here, and we believe they were planted in the 1930s when the hospital moved here from central London. The patients used to engage in working in the orchards. Um, but over time they got neglected and got very overgrown. But we've worked over the last couple of years with the London Orchard Project to bring them back to, to health. Last year was our first full crop and we only realised how much of a crop we had. So we're going to go into proper juicing and that's one reason we've invested in building the press this year which has been a great success. Yeah.